I'm starting to feel like I should eat something because it's about half one and all I've had is a few biscuits, a few Biscoff biscuits. I'm loving the Biscoff right now. It's my new fascination. I'm fascinated by them. I like all the different forms they come in. You know, you can get Biscoff ice cream, Biscoff spread, Biscoff on toast, Biscoff on the end of a spoon, Biscoff every fucking thing, mate, in its full form as a biscuit. So it's my birthday today. I've turned 33. I got ID'd at the weekend, though. Still look under 25, do I? Eee. Bought a few ciders for the lads. I don't have any lads. It's just me on my own drinking. Drinking alone. No, I wasn't fully alone. I was at Ellen's parents. Had a barbecue. Wasn't as sunny as we hoped. I think Ellen's going to be home in a minute and I cannot film videos when people are in the house. It's too awkward and weird. So let's not make this too long, but yeah, 33, got loads of wisdom, got quite a few grey hairs. Um, still sexy? No, never was. But yeah, today I was going to work the entire day and I felt like torturing myself less on my birthday. So I did a half day, got quite a lot done. Still felt wrong. Got a call from a customer for I'm being called on my birthday. But as you're an adult, you know, loses the appeal, doesn't it? I never really get excited for presents now because I'm very hard to buy for. For example, my mum got me some shaving gel. Fairly good present, isn't it? As a man, I shave, something I'll use. Little does she know I've got a year's back catalogue of shaving gel because I buy it in bulk from Amazon. Um, I got a lot of chocolate and sweets and junk food. I literally went to the dentist yesterday, uh, so they would not be happy. Or they would. I think dentists probably are happy, because then it keeps them in a job. Not that they're ever short on work. Try and book an appointment sometimes. Yes, we can come in. Uh, how does Tuesday the 25th sound? What, this month? No, next year. But yeah, um, they had to pull about six of my teeth out is a lie. They didn't pull any teeth out, but I do have a little bit of gum recession, which I think is when I used to brush my teeth with a manual toothbrush side to side in anger. Um, I know better now, but they always ask. It's always a new dentist to see every year. It's like, do you use an electric toothbrush? And when it goes red, you don't keep... <laughs> yeah, I know how to use a fucking toothbrush. I'm 33. It's one of my specialities at this point. But yeah, I had a had a deep cleanse of the tooths, so they'll be good for a while. Um, is that exciting? Talking about my latest dentist appointment. I've not made a video in months, and I'm telling you about going to the dentist and having a, a normal checkup and a normal scale and polish. It's as exciting as my life gets. To be fair, I've been quite busy lately. Avril Lavigne, yellow card. I'm seeing Jack Whitehall, the comedian, tom uh, Friday, not tomorrow. Doesn't matter what day it is, though, does it to you? Um, then what have I got? Nothing for a while. I've got a week off in July. Not going to go on holiday now. Can't afford it. I'm going to a wrestling event this weekend, actually. Not as a wrestler. I know I look butch like Brock Lesnar or something, but more like Goldberg. But no, to watch uh, local, there's a company. that There was a film based on the company called Fighting With My Family because Paige is from that family, but she went into the WWE. She's now at the AEW. Some of you don't give a fuck about wrestling, so I'm just rambling on, but there's going to be some cage matches. Looking forward to it. I'm going to watch England play football against Australia in October at Wembley Stadium. I've never really gone to a proper football game. I've been to a local club game, like, when I was a child, but not since. So to be in an arena, which is about... 80-odd thousand or however much is at Wembley. It might be less than that. Um, that'd be quite good, won't it? And then I've got Blink-182 still. Not till October, though. Got busted in September. I'm seeing McFly in November. So I'm trying to keep the months um, sort of busy. To be honest with you, most weekends now, it feels like I have to do something. And I often just crave a weekend where I don't have to see any family, any people. I don't have to do anything. I can just sit in my pants. So it's good to stay busy, but don't overdo it. Um, apart from that, all I would really say is that 
I'm trying to still work on my health, mate, um, which is just difficult. Working full time, dealing with life stress, like it's hard if you're healthy. But if you've got like chronic fatigue or whatever you want to label it, which is what I believe I have and have had for many years, I often just come home from work and lay in bed with a headache. So it's not the greatest. I'm trying to trying to get better. I'm trying to make time for stuff like meditation, going for walks, having a bath, kind of staying away from screens a bit more now the weather's got a bit nicer. Because for me, the winter and autumn are really the times of the year where I can justify just sitting on my ass playing video games. Still not great because you're still sitting all day for work and it's dark outside. You need to still get outside a bit even when it's like that. But hey, I ain't got to worry now for about five months, have we? So as if it's June tomorrow, though, mental. I hope you're keeping well. Um, this has probably been a bit of a ramble ramble. But uh, yeah, until next time, I don't plan on rushing any videos out. Really, I don't want to do videos until I have something really good to say, which might be never based on my last track record. But until then, goodbye.